What's up guys, so I was very fortunate uh, about a week before Dominion came out to get to try it out with a bunch of other creators. Like, I think, it was, yeah, the 2nd of April, my birthday, in fact, if, it, if, you ever, if you're wondering. Anyway, so there's a few different mechanics going on in the game now. There are some um, optimal routes to take with picking out what you're going to be using for your gauntlets, your runes, um, your looting, bot farming as well, and I'm going to cover all that kind of thing. Uh, there's re-rolling in the, in the store as well. The store's got a little bit of RNG, but I'll go into that in, in a bit as well. Anyway, here's how to play Dominion. So there's both ranked and unranked Dominion. We're just going to talk about Dominion in general, because for argument's sake, you're going to want to win anyway. You can go in as a solo, in which case you don't really have to worry about having a particular role. You can just do whatever. As a team, you can coordinate together to get the optimal strategy going for your team. There are bots all around the map. You can have a particular player dedicated to farming these bots. You can have players dedicated to attacking points and a couple to defending points. All the while everyone is taking out any bots that they see to help charge up your boon gems and I'll cover that a bit more in a minute. When you load into a match you'll have your first interaction with the merchant of the game where you get the choice of your offhand gauntlets from a selection of three random ones. Subsequently you get a choice of random rune. Your options are three out of the nine or eight available. Don't worry too much about these choices because they're common gauntlets and you'll be replacing them quite quickly anyway. In future you can re-roll these options. You have three total re-rolls throughout the game so I would not waste them on common loot options. Within a few seconds of choosing your rune and gauntlet you'll drop into the map where you can then push for your first capture point. Make sure you take the bots out along the way though because they can drop up to rare loot and scrolls. There are bot camps scattered around the map, they respawn every 20 to 35 seconds and these are great for farming some damage to charge your boon gems, again we'll talk more about those in a second. This is why your initial pick in the shop doesn't really matter that much because the bots can drop up to rare loot. Don't worry about re-rolling because you can get a rare version of the one you wanted instead of wasting a re-roll and getting a common one of what you wanted. They're quite weak at about 35 HP so it doesn't take much to take them out. It takes a few seconds to capture points, about 5 solo, but it is quicker with other people around you. The point goal changes depending on how many people in the lobby, but a full 5v5 game will have a point goal of about 150 points. You gain points by controlling zones, they give you X amount of points every 10 seconds depending on how many zones you control, and the amount of zones you control is a point multiplier for the points earned with player exiles. So two zones controlled equals two points per player exile. While you and your team deal damage to players and bots alike, you will be filling up a little gem in your lower right hand corner that's called your boon gem. You can store up to three charges and these are used to purchase upgrades whether it be your gauntlets, runes or blessings from the merchant. Your blessings are your armor, your mana and speed. At base you start off with zero armor, 70 mana and plus three speed. I'd recommend focusing on armor to begin with and then later on if you're feeling like you don't have enough mana get some mana, if you're too slow get some speed. Of course as well upgrading your offhand gauntlet, your main gauntlet or your rune is guaranteed because the rarity will be better but not always of the same type. If you like the rarity of an item you can always re-roll but then you will get a random three selection again and it's not as totally structured as the initial choices. At about two or three minutes into a match you ought to have a couple of boon gems so it's worth recalling to access the merchant again to upgrade your gear. If you get exiled before getting a boon gem charge you will be given a free one. This is a soft catch-up mechanic that Proletariat have introduced and is honestly a fantastic addition. You recall using your use button. This is the button you use to open chests and to interact with areas around the map for quests. It takes eight seconds to recall and it can be interrupted by any damage including noodles from from the bots. Unlike BR, in Dominion there's no enclosing circle and so you don't level up your class via crossing the line into a new circle. Instead they are timed. You level up two, four, and then eight minutes into a game. Your talents aren't upgraded via time or through the merchant though. You must read scrolls as you see them if you want to upgrade your talents. When the game ends, all of your accolades will be tallied up and given to you as crowns. And it is these crowns that go towards your next rank in leagues. For bronze and silver there's no entry cost, but once you hit gold there is a 250 crown entry Entry cost platinum has 750 diamond 1250 and then if you get a legend that's a 1500 entry cost that just applies to ranked dominion though i don't think that there is any sort of worry for crowns when you're doing unranked dominion so yeah from what i can tell that's a pretty comprehensive guide on how to start playing dominion well how do you guys feel about dominion are you do you have a particular place that you're going to play let me know down below in the comments and uh yeah good luck out there